Hello and welcome, I'm Andrew and this is going to be a lap of Suzuka circuit in group 4 class. Approaching turn 1, you'll stay on the left side of the track to set yourself up. It's like a double apex, so you hit the first one, use all the road on the left, and you can use your braking and time your downshifts to help you pivot towards the second apex and get a fast exit to the S's. The first S you can take normally. I like to take the second one a little bit later, and that way I'm in a good position for this third corner, the left-hander. When you turn to the right, I like to hug this curb and that way I'm in a good position on track to use as much road as possible and get a fast exit up this hill onto the straight. Approaching the first Degner, I'll brake and turn in right before the 50 board, two wheels on the grass, use up all the curb, brake and try to transition onto the throttle smoothly so you can get a nice fast exit towards the hairpin. Just after this curb on your right, brake and turn in and hug this inside curb. Try not to get on the throttle too early, be patient and that way you won't understeer wide into the grass, but you'll still get a pretty quick exit. Approaching Spoon on this straight, you want to hug the right side of the track, and that way you'll get a shorter distance to the next corner. On that road on the right, brake and turn in. Try to be smooth on the brakes. You can use the throttle to get yourself set up for the second part of the corner. Try to get on the throttle smooth, a little smoother than I did there and use all the curb on the right so you can get a lot of exit speed down this straight. As you pass under the Dunlop sign, you can admire some of Suzuka's beautiful scenery. And just before the 50 board here, lift a little bit, turn in, and you can put two wheels on the grass. Use up all the road to maintain your speed. Break it around 125 for the Casio triangle. As you mount these curbs, try to be very careful with your throttle because it can unsettle the car. Use up all the road and hug the right side of the track to get to the line just that little bit quicker. And that's the lap, the time was a 205.5. Thanks for watching and good luck in your race.